Today, we're gonna to talk about token lands. My last video, I showed you how I pick out a project and we did just that. We picked out a project and we were on the fence with it and then we picked out another project and I was like, well, this video is getting a little long, let me research it. And I dove in and it is a gem and it is flying up already. So it's just before it gets too expensive. So hopefully this gets out quickly. I'm doing this tutorial the day before. The game just came out, I believe yesterday or the day before. And this is Wednesday that I'm talking about it now. So let me go ahead and show you real quick how it's doing. If we look on the charts, it is number 12. Here's a screenshot from the last video. I actually searched it. I didn't scroll down the list the last video, so I don't know the actual place, but I believe it was 44. But you can see since this time, the price has doubled the 24 hour sale volume. Also the change has went up more buyers and more transactions. So people are starting to really like this game. I went through, spoke with them, and this is a sponsored video. So they gave me a two packs to open up in this video. I'm gonna show you just that. Plus we have one extra pack for someone watching. Make sure you put a nice comment about this game down below. Go to the Discord, go into room token land giveaway, and just put your YouTube name and your wallet address. I'll be picking one person to get a standard pack, which is 10 cards, and good luck to you. As a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. You all know this by now, but I still want to say in every video, this game is nice because you can actually play it for free. You don't have to get NFTs to start, which is awesome. Let's open some packs. We have three here. We have a 20 for myself, token land pack, and then this 10 is going to be for a giveaway. Make sure you go ahead and comment why you want to play this game. Go into the Discord, put your wallet and your YouTube name, and I will be choosing someone to receive this standard pack. So with that said, let's go ahead and open this 20 pack. 20 cards, I wanna get a legendary, of course. The rarity is pretty simple to see, so that's always a good thing. I can quickly identify it. That's a, they're basically color-coded. Getting lots of commons. Getting two rares now, uncommon, epic. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Come on, yellow, come on, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. Oh, we're running out of cards. <laughs> ah. There we go, we got a lot of commons. Uh, uncommon, cool. We got an epic robot shop. Another uncommon, a rare. Another rare. This is a bonus one, so let's open this one too. All right, so we got a worker card, avatar card. We got a level up card, increased by 2%. Nice. And increased by 1%. And I was going to get a big pack, but it looks like the prices are jumping up fast. I should have got it earlier. Man, it was $31 like two hours ago. Everyone's noticing this is catching on. So let's go ahead and just get standard pack. Let's get another standard pack. Let's open these two up. The two that I just got are the 728, 726. The other one, this one here is for you all for the giveaway. Gotta make sure I don't do that by mistake. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Let's get some legendaries. Come on, let's go. Common, rare, common, common, uncommon, uncommon, common, 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 common. Aww. Not so great there. Uncommon, come on, give me some yellow. Purple, yellow. That one went quick. That was a lot of commons. Oof. Well, the big packs is where it's at, it looks like. And unfortunately, I'm out of money, so I can't buy another one. I'm back and we kind of seen some of this game in the last video. So if you stayed to the end, you might have found out about this game a day early, which meant a lot. I was going to buy a standard pack for $20 and I had to stream and I said, oh, I'll get it after my stream. After my stream, it was $32. So I ended up getting two and I ended up paying an extra $24 because I hesitated. So some of those times you just have to go with your gut. And this is one that I think is going to rise. I'm actually going to purchase some more cards very shortly. 
Let's go ahead and jump into the game and show you what it's all about. The usual, it is a wax game, so just go ahead and log in. Uh, hide myself for a moment and just kind of show you the general interface of it all. Here you do have a bunch of stuff across the top that we can go over. And then you have five different continents. Now, the big thing about this game is you're not picking a place and staying forever. You're going to hop around most likely because you need resources from all five places to build these mythical cards that will produce military troops for you. It's a 15 percent chance that a military card will be created each day and the rarity will vary. You're not going to get just a common every time. It's going to be different. There will also be a war once a week, and when that war kicks in, whoever wins will get bonuses. Some nice stuff, like some extra mining power, and it's just good because it'll help you get built up even faster. They said they also do have measures in place so the same place doesn't win over and over again. Plus, you're going to want to hop around because you're going to want to get all those resources to build the mythical cards. And as you build these mythical cards, more will be released that do other things. They did say to make sure that you have some epics and legendaries so you can go ahead and build some of the later ones. So I actually don't have a legendary. I have one epic, but I do plan on going through and purchasing one if I can still afford it after this video. So let's go through here. And first, we want to pick a place. We'll go over the top, but let's pick a place first. You can highlight and see what's going on. And before we go any further, let me tell you, this is a free to play game. You do not need to purchase an NFT to play. You can make 0.27 T coin every eight hours without purchasing an NFT. So this is one that you can build up and you can save your T coin and then go ahead and maybe sell it or deposit it in the bank and get some extra stuff. So I get ahead of ourselves So Let's go over this here. You have how many staking slots are available. You have how much work is available, the war power and the mine how many mining slots are available. Now when you do mine, you do have to pay three T coins. So you do need coin to actually mine. And then you'll get either one or two at the moment, depending on what your avatar is. Let's, before we go too much further, let's go ahead and go and choose one and see which one we're gonna go with here. Like I said, we're gonna jump around a bit. I kinda wanted to go with this one because it's the least. And because it's the least, I think it'll be more profitable to mine there if we do get extra resources and we want to sell some. But to be honest, I don't think that's going to be a thing. I think I'm just going to be holding all my resources because the game does look pretty tight. So let's go ahead and click on here. And it's going to say, attention, you will not be able to change the continent for one minute in real network for 10 days. So right now, if I choose here, I'm here for one minute and then I can switch. In the future, when the wars start, you won't be able to switch a continent for 10 days. So you'll be able to sit there, mine your resources for 10 days and then hop to another one. But since the war phase hasn't started yet, this is what we're looking at. So we're going to go ahead and choose OK. And now we're there. So now we can kind of look and see what's going on here. You can see all these sectors and actions we can do. So now we can stake stuff to get to work or work. So if we wanted to work, which is basically eight hours of working to earn T coin, we would click on work and their work counter is 900 max. And then you have the stake, which is to stake your cards. And there's a hundred limit there. These are actually people's sectors that they have purchased. So you're actually going onto someone's land and putting these on and earning them 10%. And you can see the rarities as you go as well. Uncommon is going to give you a lot more work and a little more uh, limit on the staking. I am interested in picking up a sector, but they're a little too much for me right now for how much money I have. Unfortunately, I just went through and upgraded a whole bunch of stuff yesterday. And it looks like it's a good thing that I did that, but it would have been nice to have a little extra here. So here we could do our work and you can see there's rare as well and we can stake and do all this. Before we do that, let's go ahead and before we do that, we're going to click on inventory here. It's going to load the cards here that we have. Sector cards, of course, like I said, we have none. We have one avatar. You can only use one avatar at a time. Very important. You can get these through the bank, which I'll explain then. 
I wouldn't put too much money into the avatars at this point because you'll be able to get them playing the game. I would look for more of the staking or the sector. So we're going to go ahead and use this avatar since it's the only one I have currently. And now I'm up there. So don't I look cool? Now here's all the staking cards that I can use. And you can see most of them are not in use and some are still loading. So it may take a moment, and this game did just come out, so it might take them a, a little bit of time to clean up any issues they're currently having. It's usually something that happens when new games come out. But we're going to go ahead and stake some cards. But before we stake, we want to level up. So when you use the bank, you can get these level up cards. And if we click up here, you'll see my cards here. And you can use as many as you want. A regular common is going to be 1%, uncommon 2, rare 3, epic 4, and legendary 5%. So you can... Add these together and you can get up to 100%. I have to do one at a time here. We've got 1%. So this is going to give me a 1% bonus. And then we're going to use this one too. And now I have a 3% bonus. So once you hit 100, that's as high as you can go. But I wouldn't pay a whole lot of money for the real legendary because you could just get the lower ones and you can also get them through the bank. I wouldn't go through and invest a lot in the level up cards either at this point unless you're trying to speed up a bit. Again, I think the staking cards is where it's at at the moment. So now we have our 3%. We have our avatar. So let's go ahead and do some work here. This person's getting up there. Let's give some love to somebody else here. This person has five. Let's go ahead and stake something on their land. Don't know if we can choose multiple. Nope, one at a time. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw our epic down on their land. And we could do even more. But let's help this person out. All right, let's spread the love. Let's give some to someone else. Let's go ahead and do a work here. All right, so now we're working. It'll say up here, working time, zero days, seven hours. It's basically eight hours. So now we have to go ahead and let this finish to work. And then when working's done, we can go ahead and mine later. You can either mine or work at a time. You can't do both. But we do have more cards to stake. You can see our rewards are already coming in from the stakes we've put. Let's go ahead and try to stake some more here. Find someone else that's low. Now, the idea is you might as well stake all the cards because you're getting extra rewards passively through having these. Let's go ahead and do a few more here. I don't know if I want to do them all at once because CPU has been rough lately. And each card does have a different number of value. So just to show you, if we're looking at the commons, your power is going to be a five power for staking. And then if we go to uncommon, you're at 10. And then rare is 15. Epic is 20. And then legendary is 25. So these are going to be required to make the future military machines. So you know what? I'm just going to grab one. I think it's a good investment. So now we have a legendary. I'd like to save the rest of my money up to try to get a sector in the near future, but I have a feeling those prices are going to go up. So now we have an epic and a legendary for staking. Let's go ahead and throw the legendary on this here. OK, we got 28 more to go. I'm going to go ahead and do this quick and get this set up. This is only something you have to do probably once is just stake them. And then you should be good unless you're going to move them around. Now, if you're on your own planet, then that's going to go ahead and provide you more resources. If you're staking on someone else's planet, you are going to get hit with a 10% that goes to their planet. So you want to make sure that you're doing it on your own. I'm sure they're going to probably change it so you can do multiple at a time. That would be really nice. Okay, we are completely staked right now. We have our staking power of 305. If we go into our avatars, you kind of see war power here. Let's say we go to the legendary just to show you. If we highlight it, you can see war power 50. So war power is going to be what you get to grow your military in your continent to help everyone out. 
So what we have to do is we have to craft the War Factory, and you can see here what it looks like. This is the mythical card. And the War Factory will give you 50 T-Coin and a 15% chance a day for a military card. So right now, the only way to really get the military, the war power that I've seen is have an avatar and the legendary is the highest of 50. When you are getting these resources, you can get one or two per mine and you're looking at 10 common will equal one uncommon, five uncommon will equal one rare, three rares will equal one epic, two epics will equal one legendary. And everyone's kind of on the same area to start and it just started. So the highest I saw yesterday in the auction house was two uncommon resources. So you know the game is pretty new and it just started. So now's a good time to jump in. I know I'm doing work right now. I probably won't do work again because I will just purchase the T-Coin and I will go ahead and mine because for me, it's more important to get to the War Factory. But I wanted to show you that aspect and how it works. Here's a quick look at the card with my face not in the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> Back at the map, let's go ahead and check out the bank and explain what's going on there. With the bank, you can go ahead and deposit T-Coin and you can have a chance to get a prize. So here it is a one duration, the one week duration for the basic, and it costs 50 T-Coin. You get 2% extra in a week, you'll get that back. And then you have a 4% chance to get a pack, a bank pack. Here's what the bank packs look like to give you an idea. We have the bank mini pack, which is gonna be for one week. And then it just keeps moving up. Then we have the small pack. You're going to get avatar cards and level up cards mainly and possibly some other cards in there too as you move up. You get common and uncommon in the main and then common, uncommon, rare. So you can get more cards by getting T-Coin and putting it in here. But by doing work, if you're a free to play player, you can do work, save up your T-Coin. It'll probably take you maybe 50 days if you're free to play to be able to purchase the first pack, but then you're getting level up cards, you're getting avatar, and you're getting some common and uncommons, and you're able to stake. So you're able to build up that way. And the more you can stake, the longer it takes for the coin to go away and come back with an interest, plus a possibility of reward. This looks nice here, this bank grand pack. So this is 800 and it takes 12 weeks. And CPU usage is killing me right now. So we have to give it a moment to be able to purchase some T-Coin to show you this feature. All right, got some coin. Let's go and do the 12 weeks. We're gonna get this started. We are going to do two. So this is a 100% chance for a prize and 40% increase. And I think the project will do good, so let's do two. Now if we go to My Deposits, you can see here, the time is counting down, and we are getting 40% increase on the 800, well, 1600 technically, and we are getting a 100% chance for our prize, so we're gonna get two packs for that. And those packs are pretty nice. And if you look here, you have really good chances to get a master level up card, a legendary avatar, a rare card, an epic card, and a legendary card. Of course, it is going to take a little time to get it, but we will get there. All right, so let's go do the 50. We just went through and purchased enough to get 10. 10 the most you can do. We'll go and deposit this, and in a week, we'll have a chance, a 4% chance, 10 times. So 40% chance we'll get a prize there in a pack. And then we'll get a 2% reward on each of those. And the rewards are coming in nice. If I look here, I'm already at two. So that is pretty nice and it's coming pretty solid. And I'm gonna go ahead and get more cards. But remember, I do have one legendary, one epic, and a good amount of rare uncommons and commons. So they will have auctions and auctions will probably be for sectors and some other things. And you'll be able to do auctions. And then you have crafts, which is not completely out yet, but you can do it on Nefty. And this is how to go ahead and make the higher level chips because you're going to go ahead and make these level chips so you can go ahead and make the war factory. And I showed you how to make those you need of each resource to do. So for example, if we go to legendary, you're going to need two epics to go ahead and make the legendary. It is over eight hours later and my work has completed, so I am done with my work order. When you are working here, you cannot mine, and when you mine, you cannot work. So keep that in mind. Mine.
mine. You get it. So let's go over to the mine area. We're going to go ahead and click on it here. And it's going to say, attention, mine uses working time to extract the resources you need to pay three T coin. We're going to go ahead and say, okay. Currently it shows we have 108, but our balance is actually less than three. So if we hit okay, see what happens here. Doesn't look like it went through. So we have to claim. So let's go ahead and claim. Now our balance is high enough to go through in mine. So let's go ahead and choose mine. And we'll choose okay. Here we go, it's signed and here it is. Working time, seven hours, 59 minutes. So eight hours is going on right now for the mine. And once it's done, we should receive a resource. As this avatar can claim one resource. I do wanna get the other one, but I'm trying to get it through doing the bank so I don't have to actually pay for it. It's about $20 if I wanted to just purchase it right now. Here we'll show the resources and which ones we got. So we got to go ahead and wait and get them. But to give you an idea of the resources, here's a general idea of what people are mining. And they're going for about 67 cents, which isn't bad for eight hours of working for just one click. And then you can put 10 of them together to get an uncommon. We have two of them there. And I believe that's as high as we have right now. Yep, that's as high as we have. So more will come in the future. And once again, this owner is how many sectors you have if you own land. War power is how much power you have for the war. Your staking power added up the numbers on the cards. Your balance in T-Coin. And then your reward you're earning. You can claim this to get it over to here. And then these are going to be the resources you have. And you can also hover over the avatar and change what you'd like. If you'd like to see an overview or go into the inventory, for example. That is currently token land more to come. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway, say something about the game and then go to the discord and put your YouTube name and your wallet address. And I will go ahead and pick someone from the comments below. So we do this because we can't put the wallet address actually on YouTube because they delete them. Thanks so much for the view.